So shifting now to summer classes, uh, we have Bob Pillsbury, who is teaching rivers, lakes, and wetlands this summer. And let me get your yeah. slides up. There we go. Okay. Bob. There, yeah. Well, hello. Um, as as uh, um, as we just talked about, uh, I've been teaching at the biological station for uh, uh, for many years. I'm really excited about uh, uh, teaching uh, this course up here. Get the next uh, slide. Uh, all the courses uh, up at the station are fantastic. You really can't go wrong. But for aquatic courses. Uh, I think uh, the station is uniquely located around uh, just a, a series of some uh, uh, neat types of water, including the Great Lakes. 20% of the world's fresh water is right up there. You're, you're likely living right at the edge of uh, uh, Douglas Lake, a, a, a beautiful lake right there. So we've got a lot of aquatic habitats at our fingertips. And this course is designed to be kind of an introduction course to all the we've got lots of fine aquatic courses at, at the station but this is meant to be kind of an introduction or a feeder course uh, to some of the other uh, uh, aquatic courses that you'll hear about next uh, so we're going to examine uh, starting with kind of the basic building blocks of aquatic biology we're going to examine the physical chemical and biological uh, factors that help structure the uh, biological communities in an aquatic environment as well as the human impact. Uh, next slide. Um, we've got, we're, uh, like I said, we've got a lot of really neat uh, destinations in, uh, in North Michigan from uh, uh, lakes, bogs, fens, coastal wetlands, rivers, the deep Great Lakes, and uh, down to little uh, vernal pools and ephemeral uh, ponds. So next. Uh, you learn how to sample and identify many of the aquatic organisms that are important in these systems like uh, algae and uh, invertebrates of different types, uh, uh, fish and uh, uh, aquatic plants or uh, wetland plants, uh, and uh, quite a few other organisms. I think we've got the rhythm of this going here. Uh, a typical class, and this is true of a lot of uh, a lot of courses up there. Uh, we have lecture in the morning. We'll uh, we'll go out to a unique place, uh, mostly that's that's attached to that lecture. And, uh, and start doing some work out there for that day's uh, lab. We'll have lunch out in the field, so we'll uh, pack a lunch, uh, come back at uh, three or four, uh, uh, do, uh, you know, uh, kind of collect all the data, and then maybe in the late afternoon or uh, after dinner have a, a few people together working with me and, uh, and a TA in the, in the computer labs to kind of uh, crunch the numbers uh, and, during that time and build a presentation so that we can present it uh, the next time we meet and then we'll start start it all over again. So uh, uh, students are going to be also involved. So we were talking about some very uh, uh, broad concepts in this class, but you also get a chance to really narrowly focus with group, small group projects of about three to four people on something that you really want, a question that you really want to look into. So in the past, we've had uh, people that have looked at the effects of zebra mussels on native clams, succession patterns in these dune swells. This is a really unique system along, uh, uh, along the Great Lakes. We've got these series of ponds. And the farther each pond that you go back, you're going back about 50 to 70 years in, in time, uh, as successional time. So it's a really unique area. Uh, but see the uh, National Wildlife uh, 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 refuge, We've, we can look at uh, fire ecology and fens, uh, the effect of beaver dams on, on river communities, and, and so on. So we've got a lot of resources uh, up there and a, a lot of aquatic habitats. So uh, we've got a lot of uh, different choices up there. So join us if you like. Uh, and last slide, I guess. Uh, so, uh, so this summer, and uh, oh, there's, there's my son. Hopefully he'll be up here there, too. So. He's a little older now. Yeah, he's, he, he might be in the kitchen now, but I, I had to throw that in. Okay, thanks, Bob. Sure.